Double Masters 2022, card number 111, Greater Gargadon. Current market value, $0.14, with a foil going for $0.27. This card is two variants in this set and is printed in five sets, including this one. It is legal only in modern, legacy, vintage commander and petty formats. There are currently an excessive amount of rules against this card by Wizards of Coast. 1. Suspend is a keyword that represents three abilities. The first is a static ability that allows you to exile the card from your hand with the specified number of time counters, the number before the dash, on it by paying its suspended costs listed after the dash. The second is triggered ability that removes a time counter from the suspended card at the beginning of each of your upkeeps. The third is a triggered ability that causes you to cast a card when your last time counter is removed. If you cast a creature spell this way, it gains haste until you lose control of the creature, or, in rare cases, you lose control of the creature's spell while it's on the stack. 2. You can exile a card in your hand using suspend any time you could cast that card. Consider it a card type, any effects that modify when you could cast it, such as flesh, and any effects that could stop you from casting it, such as a meddling mage's ability, to determine if and when you can do this. Whether you can actually complete all steps in casting the card is irrelevant. For example, you can exile a card with suspend that has no mana cost or that requires a target even if no legal targets are available at that time. 3. Cards exiled with suspend are exiled face up. 4. Exiling a card with suspend isn't casting the card. This action doesn't use the stack and can't be responded to. 5. If the spell requires any targets, those targets are chosen when the spell is finally cast, not when it is exiled. 6. If an effect refers to suspend a card, that means that that card 1 has suspend, 2 is in exile, and 3 has one or more time counters on it. Ruling number 7. If the first triggered ability of suspend, the one that removes the time counters, is countered, no time counter is removed. The ability will trigger again at the beginning of the card owner's next upkeep. 7. When the last time counter is removed, the second triggered ability of suspend, the one that lets you cast the card, triggers. It doesn't matter why the last time counter was removed or what effect removed it. 8. If the second triggered ability is countered, the card can't be cast. It remains exiled with no time counters on it, and it's no longer suspended. 9. As the second trigger ability resolves, you must cast the card if able. You must do so even if it requires targets, and the only legal targets are ones that you really don't want to target. Timing permissions based on the card's type are ignored. 10. If you can't cast a card, perhaps because there is no legal targets available, it remains exiled with no time counters on it and is no longer suspended. 11. If you cast the card without paying its mana cost, such as with suspend, you can't choose to cast it for any alternative costs. You can, however, pay additional costs. If the card has a mandatory additional cost, you must pay those if you want to cast the card. 12. You are never forced to activate mana abilities to pay costs. So, if there is a mandatory additional mana cost, such as from Thadia, Guardian of Thruban, you can decline to activate mana abilities to pay for it, and hence fail to cast the suspended card, leaving it in exile. 13. If the card has an X in its mana cost, you must choose zero as the value of X when casting it without paying its mana cost. 14. The mana value of a spell cast without paying its mana cost is determined by its mana cost, even though the cost wasn't paid. 14. A creature cast using Suspend will enter the battlefield with haste. It will have a haste until another player gains control of it. In some rare cases, another player may gain control of the creature's spell itself. If this happens, the creature won't enter the battlefield with haste. To cast this card will cost 1 red, 9 general mana. It is a creature, beast, and the card is a rare, with the ability Suspend 10, 1 red mana. Sacrifice an artifact, creature, or land. Remove a time counter from Greater Gorgodon. Activate only if Greater Gorgonon is suspended. 9 power, 7 toughness. This card is currently played in less than 1% of Commander decks listed on EDH Rack. If you like this deep dive detail on cards, then subscribe for more and check out the playlists.